Good morning traders and welcome to the daily call today Thursday the 9th of February. Before we get started as always please understand that any advice in this session is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Okay so what happened overnight there wasn't a whole bunch of uh, data uh, being released in the last session. Uh, if we start off in the US, basically uh, we saw oil plunge overnight as the EIA reported a much bigger than expected rise of 13.8 uh, million barrels in US crude supplies. So basically too much oil, uh, the inventories are stocked up so they've been producing too much oil, uh, too much uh, surplus oil has gone down uh, slightly overnight. In the the biggest the news that did occur actually happened a few hours ago in the early hours here in New Zealand. Uh, in the New Zealand official cash rate remained unchanged at 1.75% as the RBNZ cited that the recovery in commodity prices and more positive business and consumer sentiment have improved. So essentially they saw no need to move the rate. I believe most analysts were of the same opinion that nothing was going to happen. So if there was no change, why did the Kiwi dollar plunge? As we saw it dropped instantly pretty much about 50, 50 odd pips. Well, the Reserve Bank also hinted that the benchmark official cash rate could stay at record low levels for years to come. So the market's taken this as they're not looking at, uh, definitely not looking at increasing. Uh, the, the Kiwi dollar's just been on a really, really good run. So they've taken it as let's cash out or let's uh, take some profit and the Kiwi dollar has dropped uh, in the first few hours post uh, announcement. Okay, so it's now time for our chart of the day. Now when I was looking as the brand new candle started just after nine o'clock, a couple of other options opened up. So if anybody um, follows my price action trend trading, have a look at the Aussie US dollar and have a look at the US CAD. There are trades there as well. I haven't got those ones here, but the one that I have found for us today is, uh, oh, by the way, those two charts that I just mentioned, that's on a daily chart. Okay, have a look at that. You will find two other setups there. Uh, alternatively, this is what I've got for us today. This is the Aussie Yen. It's a four hour chart, and you can see clearly I've marked out a support region. The market has come to this area on a few occasions, uh, so we have here like once, twice, three times, even here, four, and we are right there again at the moment. So also important to note is that we do have an inside candle set up over here. So effectively, we are ready to place a pending order in this market, and uh, should we break the top of that candle there, that's where we would be trading. Now it is important to note on this particular chart, uh, it does get the feel that it could start to narrow down as such and become a, a converging uh, flat bottom triangle. So if I extend that line there, which I've just done briefly here, I still would have enough room the way that I see it to hit my targets compared to my stops where they would be placed. So that makes me comfortable with that and, uh, and and also it's not necessarily means that we are going to stop here, it could continue, but nevertheless you just foresee it a little bit just to plan out your trade a little bit better. So there you have it, Aussie Yen on a four hour chart, we can place our pending orders and it's ready to go. Okay, so what's happening? in the session that is about to unfold. We have uh, just in, in a couple of hours, we have uh, the Governor Wheeler will speak. Let's see if the RBNZ adds any further uh, news to what's happened this morning already regarding their monetary policies and their rates decision. At uh, 8 o'clock tonight, of course these times are in my local time, which is Australian Eastern Standard, uh, Daylight Savings Times, otherwise Sydney time. Uh, Governor Lowe will be speaking uh, to see what the RBA for Australia says. At 12.30 midnight, uh, unemployment claims from the US is due. And at 5.30 in the morning, 
Governor Carney speaks uh, in England, the Bank of England. So those are the, the major impact in uh, news events to happen in the trading session which is about to unfold. As always guys, please feel free to contact us if you have any questions. Follow me on Twitter at ChatFX for trade setups and breaking news. But most importantly, I hope you all have a fantastic trading day and I will see you tomorrow for the daily call. Bye for now.